So now we have a test uh, with a test uh, function, the is any function, and we can reuse this is any function in any of the tests uh, above test. We could even uh, remove this uh, expected array here and pass it directly into uh, the array, but that's not the point. The most more interesting thing is that we should move out this is any function to some module, so it will be we will be able to use it in different locations in different test scripts, and we could even pass it around, even upload to CPAN if uh, that's what we want, if we feel that's uh, uh, useful for the rest of the producing world. So how can we do that? We can create, first of all, we create a, just a, we're going to create a module called test any. So we create a, a directory called test and inside we are going to call create the module. So inside we are creating the any pm and we are moving over the is any function to that module. That's the first step. Of course, here for this module we have to uh, write, create the right thing. So we declare the name of the package, use strict and use warnings as uh, required. And we also usually it's, it's good to a good idea to give a version number. It's um, especially if you're uh, distributing it, but in any case it's it's good to people uh, see. And then we also have to export somehow the, this function. So we are, we are loading the exporter module. And from that exporter module, we actually bring in the import uh, function. So we are importing the import function uh, because that's what, the, we, that's what the other module is going to call. And uh, this import function is looking at, going to look at a, a variable called export export or export OK, I think it's better to um, require the user to, to explicitly import uh, the function. And then we are exporting the is any function. So this is how we export it. Now we also use, are using here the any function that we had uh, in the script, so we don't need to load the module in the script anymore, but we do need to load it inside the module. And um, basically that's it. We can finish it by uh, passing a true value. Now there is one issue, of course, because there is the, the OK function, which is not available here. OK function was received from test more. But you can't really load test more because we're supposed to load test more only in the test script, not in the test module that uh, can be loaded separately, basically. So what can we do here? That's where we, we can use uh, another way of the back end of the test uh, simple framework. We are need to use load the test builder module. So here we load test builder module. We use the test builder module and we need to get the test builder object. We can do that in, inside the function. Just uh, call it, let's say, test, and then test builder module builder, and that will return the current builder object. Now, because it's a it's a singleton, it doesn't really matter if we are going to call it here first or the testing script does it first by loading the test symbol. Doesn't really matter. In any case, this is the same object, and now this object has methods like the OK method, and it has methods like the diag method. So we can call the diag method. And then maybe we also want to put it in, uh, in parentheses, whatever we're passing to this diag method. I usually prefer that when we're calling it the method. Um, so that's good, but there is a, a, another small thing, the test builder level. Now, because we are calling already the backend OK function and not the front end in the test simple test more modules, we don't need to have this adjustment. So we can remove the adjustment that we had earlier, and we can we now have uh, this uh, module and the script. So if we oh one thing one more thing of course, um, in the script 
we have to load the test uh, any module. So we have to use test any and we have to import the is any function. Without that we wouldn't have the function. Now checking it out and of course there are we made some mistake and in line 8 It's better called R, of course. And here we are. So now we have the same result, more or less, uh, depend, uh, except of the uh, actual numbers, because these are all random. So it provides the correct line number, 12 here and 18 here, where the is any function was called. And then we now have a separate module called test any that we can even distribute on CPAN if we really want. Uh, but we can definitely can pass around in the uh, company, or we can use it uh, in other test uh, functions, test uh, scripts. So we just created uh, a new test module. This is a similar as hundreds of other test modules that are using the test builder backend that can be found on CPAN and that we are going to look at uh, later.